All right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is I want to do a short little update video for you all because apparently coming up I've heard about this rumor for a day or two but now we're starting to see some more posts about it so we can probably say it'll be coming down the line sooner or later into this year. Another restock for the Lost and Found Jordan 1, a second chance one on sneakers. So I'll get into the details about this release, kind of where it would happen and uh, maybe if it would be a shock drop, anything like that. Of course, if it ended up being a shock drop, we'd probably know all the details time stuff like that it would get posted around and you know you'd probably hear about it so feel free to check my instagrams any of that down below and also if you all want to check out hype labs again this is a group i run with my friend or excuse me right here but here's what we provide in the group again we got botters that can run items for you for free copy them at retail price monitors early release info backdoors bypass links for snipes are about to have that coming up it's been a little bit of a confusing process but we're adding that back and so many other things in-store info giveaways we did one last night so if you're interested in checking out our group join the wait list excuse me but this will load up in a second and you guys can see everything on the site the success testimonials and everything we offer so that's it check it out and let's get started so first things first the jordan one high lost and found again as you all can see the typical restock times they say are 10 or 11 a.m eastern time on the sneakers app but i want to say if y'all remember when the why so sad shock dropped that was at 2 p.m eastern time so this is not necessarily accurate i mean restock times have been random always i mean you've had them on sneakers lives at like three o'clock 3 30 uh, and you've also had, again, these shock drops you've had at like, like 12 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, like the why so sad. So it really does vary, but we will probably know the date at least. That is one thing we can say. And this is pretty ex exciting to see at least though, knowing that these are a very valuable pair and that a lot of people still need theirs. Men's and grade school sizes restocking. This is what, you know, some people needed. And honestly, we knew this would come later down the line because I mean, there was a, there was a lot of pairs that they said they made, they made for these. So hopefully this restock would actually be good stock hopefully it just wouldn't be uh you know as one of these second chance restocks where they only have because the wasso sats had like fifty thousand pairs on the shock drop that was great but these ones should probably have at least you know across the different sizes hopefully like eighty thousand hundred thousand pairs that would be fair but we'll see what nike does i mean if they end up you know dropping only like twenty thousand, then well you know the two the people that hit you know that'd be a uh, you know a nice pair to have that day but it's you know odds are not going to be super high to be honest if it you know is a lower amount I'll, I'll just be real and as you guys can see right here here are the adult uh, sizes right here and their prices you can see they're bouncing between kind of a range of 450 to 500 with bigger sizes going for more starting to cross in the, the you know the 500 dollar range but i mean looking at this it has been consistently rising you know pretty well i mean this one used to go for you know 350 now we're up at 450 so i mean that's an 100 dollar rise right there and you can see the demand for them isn't that bad a lot of people that I, I, that i know that are buying these pairs right now are not buying them directly through apps they're going to stores different things like that and really paying the high so only 300 sale, uh, sales on stock X in three days kind of does shock me I would expect it to be more and for the grade school sizes also uh, you can see it doesn't even have that symbol so not too much popularity but they're they're going for a lot more right now as well in grade school this pair has always been kind of a good hold I mean it dropped down to 200 I think I'd mentioned this one a couple times but definitely one for the future that will be probably 300 which I know is a bit shocking to say but I mean it's a uh, you know grade school pair which has a less stock less stock anyways and uh, you know it's of a very very popular pair so understanding that there's a lot behind it and really what I think I mean resale prices would probably stay about the same maybe drop like ten dollars after you know another sneakers release but i mean if another second chance restock does come along hopefully it won't just be on sneakers hopefully it'll be at some of these uh you know at some of these flx places different things uh different things like that because that would be you know good for the game to just see it you know release uh kind of a, I, I guess again not just at one location i mean if it was just on the nike sneakers app that would be fine but i feel like it'd be better to see it in more places than just you know the one uh normal location where a lot of people don't end up hitting and a lot of people you know just kind of forget the times things like that i mean that's why a group could be useful it's because you know they ping you for the time stuff like that so i mean that's kind of what we do is make sure y'all get those reminders for drops and other things like that raffles etc um but for this one coming up make sure y'all just kind of ready and stay tuned because the resale is very very solid on these pairs uh, and only you know after another sneakers drop it might even rise i mean because people are going to be waiting for this one so they're going to hold out and pay and resell a little bit if you know the knowledge of this restock spreads a little bit more uh, so people are going to you know hold out and pay and resell and then i mean they'll wait until after the drop and then after the drop if a bunch of people just rush to buy it it's gonna you know make the prices go up for sure for sure excuse me but that's really all i need to mention right there there's not too much more to say i mean we can look at some of the comments i guess this would be another thing to mention you can see a lot of people viewing this post so i mean a good a good amount of people know about this one but hopefully the app would not crash again i mean this has been a common thing the app has crashed it, it just i do not know why i've seen this plenty of times this is your first leak in five years hope you're right and you can see look some people paying the high paying 550 stuff like that and look are they even 
going for 550 on apps? No, no sizes are going for 550. So you see what I mean? People are right now going out there to the local area and paying more. That's really what it is. But just stay tuned for this restock. Overall, people are looking forward to it. You can see, and people are just hoping that, uh, you know, I I'm hoping it will not drop via exclusive access. If they do a second chance restock via exclusive access, that would just not be the way to go. And that could really mess it up there. But that'd probably also mean they don't have as many pairs as they say if they're doing EA. Uh, so yeah, that's really just what I feel like I need to mention right there. So stay tuned. Adult and a grade school size is hopefully coming soon. So do not miss out on this one right here. And yeah, that's all I need to mention. So again, feel free to check out Hype Labs. If you all want the, all that early info and different things that we provide within the group, daily under market deals that we sell to members, stuff like that. Uh, and you know, backdoors, one-on-one -on -one supports we can teach you how to bot if you're interested in that, uh, having botters run items for you. And yeah, pretty much all the basic stuff. So that's everything that needs to be mentioned. Check out our socials and feel free to follow mine as well in the description if y'all are interested. But leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think in the comments about this restock coming down the line. I would love to hear your opinions and uh, you know, just kind of what you think because I know a lot of people are going to be wanting this one. So demand is definitely high, but that's it. I'm Tristan. Thank you all. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next video soon. Yeah. See you there. Peace.